All right, hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is uh, Unreal PT. This is a game that I've been actually really looking forward to running in this marathon because I have a lot, a lot to talk about. And this is actually the game that I'm most excited for. So here we go. So I'm going to do my best to explain everything about this game. And timing starts on movement. So let's uh, do this. Okay, so this is a fan remake of PT, which is a, which stands for Playable Teaser. It's the Playable Teaser for Silent Hills, which was developed by uh, Hideo Kojima and uh, Gabriel Del Toro. It was a cancel. It's canceled now, because uh, also timing starts now. It's a canceled game, sadly, because they just couldn't work together. It was starring. Uh, it was starring Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead. And yeah, so, and they took the playable teaser down off the PS4 stores. So only fan re remakes are the only things, only or the only way we can play this game now. And it, it's a pretty fun speed run. It's a, just a walkthrough style game. So yeah. Okay. So I probably should explain what I'm doing right now. So we're we are st are uh, stuck. In an endless loop, basically endless hallway. Who knows why? <laughs> we don't know why we're stuck in an endless loop. All we know it's, it is is an it's a haunted um, hallway. They took it down because they just couldn't work together. I don't understand why they would take it down though. They can cancel the game, just don't take down the playable teaser because it's a, it's an amazing horror game. Okay, so that was the second loop. Oh, she just she pounded on the door. So that crying, better get used to that crying, because that crying is actually coming from the ghost of this game named Lisa. She is a uh, woman that was murdered by her husband. Sadly. It's pretty sad. This is a pretty sad story, but it's creepy at the same time, so. So we're going zoom to in, zoom in at this door, and then the door should close. There it is. All right, here's the next loop. And this is when we actually get to see Lisa in her full full glory. There she is. Oh, saw her for a split second. Don't worry, we'll see her at the end of the run. <laughs> okay, so this is loop number four. Or actually, number five, I think. So now we're gonna go in the bathroom, and here is the crying baby. Let me turn down the game just a little bit. Hope that might be a little bit too low. Good thing is when you alt out of this game, it doesn't um stop the game, which is cool. So now we have a flashlight. There's blood on the floor. No, that, that's just ketchup. Sorry guys, don't worry. <laughs> Poor Fields, baby. You could definitely tell this is a Silent Hill game because the hole in the wall and the fetus. <laughs> All right, so coming up is the um, the loop. This is basically this is called the radio kill loop, and this is when Lisa can actually jump scare you. But we're not gonna get jump scared scared by her because. Too good. Also, I'm not playing this game with a key with a controller because I'm just used to playing with the keyboard now. So we press X on this picture to gouge it out. What, what are we gouging out? Her eye. <laughs> That's why. All right, and that was that loop. Dead game spooky. Yep, yep. So now this is the window drop loop. And there you go. Look up at Lisa. There she is. <laughs> All right, now the hallway is turning red. That is sad. It's disgusting. My my light's red. It's 
pretty graphic story. I would recommend playing this uh, remake if you can. They took down the Gant. They actually took down the download link for this remake, but I actually have both the download links still, so you can get it from me if you want. All right, so this is the uh, hello puzzle. So look at it, then look back, look at it, look back. There you go. And what did that do? It takes those words over from there to we can, I can hear them calling to me from hell. Basically completing that puzzle. So now this is what I call the Swedish loop because there's a Swedish radio blo uh, broadcast popping up. Alright, that's it for that one. And now here is the uh, red hallway loop. AKA the hole in the wall puzzle. So we're just gonna run all the way until we see the hole in the wall. Sorry if it seems like I'm rushing it, I'm really not. This game is just that fast when you go, go that fast, so. Stop right here, look through the wall. There we go. This game's actually pretty confusing. Also, I'm not gonna show these graphic sounds on uh, a marathon. Because <laughs> I don't need to. So I'm just gonna mute it. All I can say is there's pretty bad things going on right now. I'm just not gonna show the game audio. <laughs> it's kind of a, ooh, not family friendly. All right. You got fired, so you now the fetus, uh, the fetus, the fetus is talking to me. Cancel that text or cancel that dialogue, because why not? Kind of how, kind of how B Hill played this game. He was like, oh, walks in there and just leaves. <laughs> He's like, I'm fed up with this. <laughs> okay. So right at the end of this loop, I'm going to turn around and then I'm going to get this photo, a picture of a photo, or the photo piece right here on the stairs. There it is. So now we're going to do the six fragment puzzle. And the six fragment puzzle is basically where you find six pieces of a photo. We already found the, the first one, so the other ones in this plant, because there's a photo on the wall right here that we gotta got to fill up. The other one's right here. Okay. Other one is right up here. There it is. And the other one's right there. There it is, okay. Now, we just gotta wait until the screen gl starts glitching out. There it is. Oh, where is the other one? Oh, there it is, okay. Okay, <laughs> almost forgot about that one. It doesn't lose time either way, because this is, a, this is a, the best place to, do, to find your uh, puzzles. Or to find your uh, six fragment pieces because it's pretty much just a waiting zone until it glitches out fully. So yeah. As you can tell, this game's pretty pretty, pretty, pretty beautiful. It's a very pretty game. Oops, sorry. All right, now the game uh, fake crashes right here. Knowing you, I sure noticed that I never play it. Longer than that day, 20 days ago. Contact me, Jay. Okay, so coming up is the final loop of the game, the final puzzle. And this is actually the most complicated one because there's a lot of steps to it. And I'll explain it as we go. So here we go. <laughs> so I gotta wait until the the clock start uh, strikes midnight. So you can do this at any point. Like you can basically do it at any um, point in the hallway. So I'm gonna stand about right here because I have the most room. So you pretty much just want to have just wait until the you hear the chimes, the bell chimes, and then walk ten steps. So walk 10 steps and then we'll explain it. Because you need to get three baby laughs to make the phone ring in this loop. 
The main goal is just make the, the baby laugh, so. Uh, I don't think that was 10. So there was 10. Okay, so I'm gonna look down in this hallway because Lisa will spawn down there. But at least I want Lisa to spawn in this other hallway behind me. Oh, there she is. So now, the second baby left, we need to look at Lisa. But not too close, because she'll kill us if we look closely at her. So we just want to step back a little bit. Look at that dance. Do the Lisa dance, everybody. There we go. Now stand still. All right, and there we go. And that is PT. <laughs> Doing that pretty much causes the baby to laugh, and then there we go. That's PT. Pretty confusing game, but it's a fun one. Fun little scary experience. Now zoom in into the phone. All right, and there we go. Now we're gonna walk out the loop door, and then there it is. All right, and time. And that is world record, everybody. That is world record. <laughs> Dad was such a drag. Every day he'd eat the same kind of food, dress the same. Cause I got Lisa first try. I got the uh, final puzzle first try. Yeah, he was just that. Kind world record was eleven. 11 something? That's a 10 to 39, so heck yeah. That is a world record. My new toys with me. There are two categories to this game. Uh, one category is new game, obviously, which is this one. And then there's, all, there's another one, which is... Uh, Konami code category, which is a uh, Kano. It's basically called Konami code because you can actually, if you put in the Konami code while while playing the game, you can actually run and toggle your flashlight, and basically you can just run right down the hallway, kind of like in the uh, red hallway loop. But yeah. Anyways, that is Peachy. Hope you guys enjoyed that for what it was. I did my best to explain it. There's more, obviously, to to the story, but I would. Leave that up to you guys, so. Alright, up next is Hurdy Gurdy, which is the last run of the marathon. It's been an awesome marathon, guys. I really appreciate it. So. I'll see you guys in just a minute. With Brandon Hill, XYX, doing Hurdy Gurdy. So, here we go.